Usually, it is very calm and quiet in this world. However, strange things happen here sometimes. So, what do monsters do when their world gets a little shaky flaky? Assess the situation. Check yourself. Do you feel okay? Can you move? No pain, no strange sensations. Move carefully and try to stay safe. It is important to stay put and to stay safe. Check on other people you can see, hear or reach physically. Talk to them and stay together. Review resources for your independent survival during the next few days and nights. Water supply is critically important. It is useful to have food. Think of some other items for your survival kit list. Perhaps some protection from cold, rainy or sunny weather. Look around to assess for any further danger and find ways to evacuate. Seek out any information on the threat and also any possible rescue operation. Communicate about yourself to other people. If you need help, call out for it and look for it if you can. If you don't need help, let others know that. If it's possible, you may also send a Facebook or Twitter update telling everyone that you're okay, informing them about support and help that you can offer and how to find you. After you are sure about your own family members, try also to contact your neighbours, colleagues, volunteers or others from your local community. Look for community gathering spots in your neighbourhood. If you leave home, leave a note to your friends and family. Once again, you may also broadcast a Facebook or Twitter update to keep your family or friends informed about you. Establish contact with the official and professional rescue operation. Come together. Look for groups you know. We work better when we work with people we know. Neighbours, club members, friends, volunteers, colleagues and peers. Share what you know. Collect information and make it visible for others. Oh, thank you. Make plans on how you could coordinate your initiatives to help with official rescuers. Coordinated, self-organized initiatives are much more effective and useful for rescue operations, as opposed to the disorganized and sometimes hectic actions of other individuals offering their help. You can see the monsters are ready to act, which means Assess yourself and the situation. Communicate and share and come together for better help. Here and now, talk to your peers about what you can do. Remember the elderly and those who live alone in your neighborhood. They're vulnerable and they may need more assistance. Prepare emergency supplies for about three days and nights. <laughs> 